just a quick video to demonstrate how to get uh, two cameras to trigger from this Pixhawk. This is a Holybro Pixhawk uh, cheap version that you get off, you know, Gearbest or whatever. And obviously, um, I've got a wing, and with this setup, supplying power channel three which is the throttle and the um, the power from the ESC. It puts five volts on the middle pin all the way across this rail, which is, when you're running plain, that's RC9. And it gets the 3.3 volts out of the signal on the bottom. Which is all pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Now I've got it hooked up to my tough wing cable, which is the dual USB one, into my cameras, which are running uh, CHDK, and the cap, UAV cap script. Um, yeah, so I haven't set it up. You can set these up to, uh, as soon as you turn them on, the... Uh, script will run but if not you, you can use the play button hit menu get a firmware update and that will start chdk for you let's do it on both and then i've got the script to auto start there <clears throat> okay so now i just need to power uh the pixhawk Cool, so that'll start up. Uh, and to talk to the Pixhawk, uh, just the USB cable into the computer. Cool. And you just connect. So, the one thing you have to do to get this to work, because it gets the signal from the uh, servo rail here, or the aux out, you have to arm it. So, I've got my switch up here. There we go. It took a little while, but that's fine. Now, we've got servo control, which is what I need. Okay, and now the... Uh, just to, I may as well just do this to prove it works. Right click, trigger camera. Yep. And you have one camera triggering. Piece of junk. Try it again. Oh, the second one is triggering too, so. And still a little bit. No idea. Now they're both going at the same time. That's good. So I'm just triggering over there. And they're both going. Excellent. Okay, now the tricky thing about this is if you look at the tough wing site, it tells you to use these settings. Configure your Pixhawk with these settings. You do that and these will not work. I, I have no idea why. Um, might be something to do with not getting 3.3 volts out on the signal pin, uh, which I couldn't get it to do. Uh, but anyway, I persevered, and these are the settings I used. I'll just find them here. So in cam, instead of the recommended settings, I've got the cam servo on at 7,500. Off at 10, uh, relay on, I think I had to change that to zero, and the cam duration at three. Um, this is like, this is backwards to what they recommend. And then down here in, and I've got it plugged into RC9, RC min zero, RC trim 8000. Yeah, that took a long while to figure out. So if anyone can enlighten me on uh, what these if I can get this, make this work any better or more consistently, I'm still, this is the, as best as I've got it, it's fairly consistent. 
I can't get the can't get this voltage signal up to 3.3 volts with the PWM PWM up to the max uh, 32676 or whatever it is. It just won't. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Better than nothing. Yep, ready to go. Okay, uh, just said a few more things, and it seems more consistent now. I'll just trigger. Uh, oh, Got to start a script. So now once the script starts, they actually turn the screens off as well. And each time I trigger, they both go and it's quite consistent. <laughs> Only one went then. Yeah, they both, yeah. so <laughs> it's fairly consistent. Let's stop the script. Okay, the other settings. USB pulse, PWM2 idle. So if anyone knows how to uh, decode that, yeah, maybe help me out. The other settings uh, that I, I'm going to try are shot interval fast, so it only take one photo instead of two at a time. Display off yes, as I said. Focus at infinity, and apparently that's good to have on. This TV min someone recommended to have up. Leaving the ISOs uh, normal for now. Oops. Now I just have a couple of settings down here. Pixhawk is my shot control. And the USB timeout I've got at 20. So once the mission's done, the lenses will retract. Uh, yeah. So, and uh, the only other thing, went into the Canon menus and turned off the image stabilization. Uh, we'll see how that works. Yeah. So, fairly happy. I'll just turn it back on. Start script. Try one more time. Yeah, they're both going. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, and that's with those settings, as I said before. Sydney 500, put the servo on. Mm. Cool. All right, well, thanks for watching. I'll take this thing up for, for another fly now and... Uh, See if I can get some photos.